six, nine, eight, six, nine. Today, we're going to test this print surface that's been provided by VPS Data. This print surface is made out of a special material and it's called Garolite and this Garolite named G10 version of print surface has been working for uh, several months in my Bamboo X1 Carbon and the print finish is really awesome. So I wanted to share with you guys that this print surface has fixed all my elephant foot and first layer problems with all of it together. I've been trying out all kinds of print surfaces and most of the time they work fine. But after a while, bed adhesion gets weaker and weaker. So we use this 99% isopropylene alcohol on it. So when you use this product, it will gain back its original values to be able to have really good bed adhesion. I will show you guys what kind of prints that came out of it and what the surface is like to print on this bed surface you get this kind of surface finish which is glossy and also if you look closer you will see some dots on there see these this is the finish that you will get from it when you print on PEI you get this as you might know this is what you get and this is the G10 Garolite so it's pretty different yeah and as you guys also can see, the whole print here has had a perfect first layer adhesion. It's just flawless. And this is a print that came out of the uh, Bamboo X1 Carbon. The first layer of some filaments do not work as good as the other ones. But with this Garolite G10, I can't remember having any first layer adhesion problems with it. As you are printing with 60 degrees on the print bed, no problems whatsoever. And I will take it also out of the Bamboo X1 carbon and so we can see up close what the product looks like. So the product is, as you guys can see, also a, a glossy finish with dots on them. I'll try to show it to you guys so you can see the dots. So these are all tiny dots that you can also feel with your nail. The other side is magnetic sheet that's on there sticks less good than a PEI in my opinion but sticks good enough that's the most important and also here there is a nozzle wipe surface that also you can see that it's been wiping on there and underneath you see it's been provided by VPS data so you can get these G10s and also G11 which is a prototype at the moment uh, maybe it's now a final product but I got the prototype version of it so this is the G10, this is the surface you see on it. You can get these from Kickstarter. I will share the link to you guys with some good deals on it. So make sure you get it from Kickstarter as soon as possible. And this is the G11, which I got for my Rook and also for my Creality K1 Max. So you see, it looks a bit weird because it's a prototype, as I said. And you see that it's not a, the final product. It's just been the uh, magnetic sheet it has been in layers in on here so yeah it's just uh, for the sake of testing the product if it's working well i didn't have any issues but i have to be honest with you guys i only printed pla on 65 degrees because 60 degrees wasn't tested by the vps data so they said i should work well, at least 65 degrees which worked fine on it also perfect first layer on this sheet as well i will i will warn you guys it's a bit more expensive than pei and others but yes if you want always a perfect first layer i think it's worth it go to this link in the description below and you can get one yourself enjoy the time lapses that i will now put on for you guys that you can see that the prints uh, come out really nice on it so enjoy
So this is the G11 inside of the printer and I also have had no problems or issues with this G11. Works great on um, flexible filament, TPU, it works perfect on it. So exotic materials, I think you go better to a G11, which is specially made for it, like EBS or uh, carbon, doesn't matter. I think you're better off with the G11 than the G10. I print mostly 95% of the time with PLA, so I prefer G10 uh, in my case. Uh, so that's why I will stand with the G10. So anyways, guys, I hope you like this introduction video to this VPS Data Garolite G10 and the G11 print surfaces. I hope you liked the video. Hit the thumbs up if you liked the video. Hit the thumbs down if you didn't like the video. Subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more content like this in the future. Bye.